life has so much to offer to those who are able to get out and enjoy it. Unfortunately, Leah and millions of others with COPD struggle to manage their shortness of breath even after using their rescue medications as prescribed. If you have patients who become breathless in between recommended uses of their rescue medication, VitaBreath may be able to help them. We developed VitaBreath to help COPD patients who are struggling to manage their shortness of breath and limiting their daily activity because of it. VitaBreath is a non-pharmaceutical, bi-level pressure device for patients with COPD. It detects and follows the patient's breathing pattern. On inhalation, VitaBreath delivers 18 centimeters of pressure to help reduce the patient's work of breathing. On exhalation, it provides 8 centimeters to keep the patient's airways open so they can expel air from their lungs. This 10 centimeters of pressure support has been shown in independent clinical studies to help COPD patients recover from dyspnea. In a study with VitaBreath, patients were able to recover up to 40% more quickly than when using pursed lip breathing. This and other clinical studies are available online for review. When Leah feels short of breath, her first choice should be her rescue medication. If she is in between recommended doses, she can turn to VitaBreath. It's simple to use. Whenever Leah starts to feel short of breath, she simply presses the on-off button and waits a few seconds for the blower to get up to speed. She puts it in her mouth, sealing her lips around the mouthpiece, and breathes. VitaBreath provides a fixed pressure of 18 over 8, so there are no settings to fumble with. After two to three minutes of breathing with the device, she should catch her breath. She can turn VitaBreath off, wipe the mouthpiece, replace the cover, and get back to what she was doing. VitaBreath is intended as an adjunct therapy to help COPD patients who struggle to manage dyspnea related to physical exertion after using their rescue medication as directed. Although VitaBreath is a single patient use device, with the addition of the optional external filter, it can be used with multiple patients. The filter allows you to evaluate patients in your clinic to determine if VitaBreath would work well for them. The device could also be useful in helping patients in pulmonary rehabilitation recover more quickly between exercises. To install the external filter, remove the mouthpiece by twisting it back and forth while gently pulling it off. Fit the external filter onto the exposed outlet tube. Orient the mouthpiece horizontally. Coach the patient to seal her lips over the mouthpiece and breathe in and out normally through the device. If your patient is not accustomed to bi-level pressure therapy, the 18 centimeters of pressure at inhalation may startle her. Consider showing the user video before she tries it herself. Emphasize that when she uses the device, she should exhale into it first, as this may make the initial experience more comfortable. After each patient use, dispose of the external filter and either replace the original mouthpiece or use the included cap. VitaBreath, the new tool to help your COPD patients manage their dyspnea so they can be active. Innovation and you. Philips.